design thinking is a methodology that's useful for companies wanting to think outside their business as usual approach and possibly address so-called wicked or complex problems in order to disrupt um, their business or perhaps their industry. It really is nothing new in terms of tools and methodology. Industrial designers have used this for years. Uh, what is a bit new is that companies have started realising that they can use design thinking for more than just product design. Traditionally, many companies focus on the feasibility, um, the possibilities of the product, basically. This is what, you know, we've got this amazing product, look what we can do, now we need to push it to the market. Um, some companies also focus on the viability, so how can we redesign the business model, win-win contracts, performance, optimization, etc. How can we get paid for that and make it financially viable? What design thinking does is, is literally to say that, okay, let's put that to the side a bit and start with the desirability. And start by really understanding the latent and unarticulated needs of the customers and their behaviour. Uh, so it's really about gaining deep empathy for what goes on at the customer, customer end, the user experience end. Uh, and design thinking starts there. So design thinking almost forces companies to think beyond products and services because it puts the human experience in focus rather than the tangible offering. An example of design thinking in action is uh, Fisher and Paykel Healthcare. Some years ago, um, they developed something called Opti OptiFlow Junior, which is a uh, oxygen mask for neonatal babies. The traditional approach to this would have been to just take uh, an adult-sized mask and make it smaller for the babies. In fact, that's what was currently back then on the market. Instead, what they did was that they, um, they walked in and they, um, they shadowed nurses. They did empathy interviews with nurses. They prototyped and iterated and used a very um, iterative design thinking approach to trying to understand um, what the issues, the pain points, the opportunity areas were within this product and what they could do to help basically to facilitate neonatal care. So an example from the services industry would be New Zealand. They use design thinking methodology throughout the organisation. An interesting example is the development of the new interior of the planes. And um, this resulted in the sky catch together with a range of um, new services. And I think this is the first time that um, where, where an airline actually developed seats in-house. This involved setting up a, a real-sized prototype of the interior of the plane down in, well, call, they called it Hangar 9, it was down in the viaduct here in Auckland, and they brought in actors to act out the experience of being on a long-haul flight in order to gain insight around the new, um, the, the prototypes that they had developed. I believe there are three crucial components for a company to successfully implement or work with design thinking methodology. Curiosity. Being curious is key to be able to identify insights and opportunities. Creativity. A company needs to embrace creative new tools and use multidisciplinary teams to solve problems. Encourage. So companies need to be prepared to fail and to learn from that failure.